men showed up earlier today to work construction jobs to feed their families. Tonight, they are dead, buried 15 feet, let me show you, right behind me at this site. What happened is they were laying some, uh, some sewage pipe, public works pipe, everything caved in. They're underneath dirt that is described as being very much like cement. Let me give you a look at this rescue operation earlier today at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Fox 31 obtaining these pictures from the fire department showing the hole where some bystanders had the idea to get a piece of PVC pipe, run it down there to the men, only described as being one in, their, one in his 20s, one in his 40s, so the rescue workers could talk to them at least for a while. One man said he was cold. They continued to dig deeper and deeper and dig deeper with these big machines. They got down to the bottom but discovered that the men had not made it. Now, as we come back here live, I'm going to show you these pictures. Something so touching I just learned from the fire chief. With that piece of PVC pipe, they managed for one man to talk to his family, to hear their voices one last time before he left this earth. So as we come back here live, I can tell you that what will happen next an OSHA investigation. They will try to figure out exactly why all of this soil caved in. Again, the names are not being released because they're still trying to contact family members from one of the men. So what we're going to do is keep a close eye on here. We've still got about 60 workers out here. This is now our recovery effort, and they will be out here for hours, still trying to retrieve the bodies of these hardworking men. Shalterner reporting live in Windsor, Fox 31.